This leopard will be killed by a porcupine. You've got more than a thousand reasons to back off when faced with a porcupine. Just one is enough, their thorny backside. No one wants to be on the receiving end of prickly needles that do more damage than you can ever imagine. But every once in a while, a predator is hungry enough to brave the porcupine's quill and ends up licking their wounds. Can thousands of these sharp quills take out one of the fiercest animals in the jungle, the leopard? Let's find out. So, who would win in a fight between the ferocious leopard and the more timid porcupine? It's pretty obvious, right? One is bigger with sharp teeth that can easily tear into your flesh. You would also never want to be in a race with a leopard because they're pretty fast. And then there's the other guy, the much smaller porcupine that doesn't move as fast and only has sharp needles as a defense mechanism. So you would pick the leopard as the winner here, but not so fast. You'll be shocked at what actually happens when these two face off. The porcupine is not one to go looking for trouble. Just look at this cute little fuzzball and you know they want to be left alone to go about their business. But that rarely happens in the jungle, where the golden rule is only the fittest get to survive. So, what better way to tell the world that they are introverts than to have bodies covered with really sharp needles that would impale anyone that comes too close for comfort? Kind of how your extremely introverted friend is almost always never around. Yeah, hate to break it to you, but there was no vacation in Cancun. And no, these are not the same as hedgehogs, but we understand how easy it is to mix up the two. They are both nocturnal, move slowly, and feature the super painful spines as their defense mechanism. So, here are a few key differences that distinguish one from the other. If you come across a spiny animal that makes more hissing or chirping sounds, that's most likely a hedgehog. A porcupine makes more wailing or clicking noises and is much bigger than a hedgehog. But the most significant difference is in those bad boys that give them a fighting chance against massive predators. Hedgehogs have about 5,000 shorter spines and can still lose some of them in stressful situations. But can you guess how many are on porcupines? Well, it's a whopping 30,000 and these quills are much larger. About 800 of them are barbed like fish hooks. So, once all three inches are in the flesh of an enemy, coming out is much more painful than going in. Now that we're sure that there's no way you're mistaking a hedgehog for a porcupine, there's one more thing. If you liked the video so far, please like this video, subscribe to Puzzle, and click on the notification bell to get more updates on upcoming videos. Let's get back to the epic battle between this tiny pincushion and the ferocious leopard. So, a few tiny pricks from a sharp object shouldn't be enough to stop a large animal, right? Wait until we uncover the absolute truth behind these quills. Here are three mind-blowing features. Almost impossible to remove, designed to stab painfully, and razor sharp. The North American porcupine would typically take her sweet time to look for tasty food because she knows she's packing a lethal weapon on her back. But don't be deceived by those white ends. Not all of these are quills, but they are just extra long to make them appear like they have more spikes. Underneath those babies, that's where the real deal happens. The ends of the quills are white too, but mostly hidden by dark fur. When they don't feel threatened or anxious, these quills are always flat against the porcupine's body. But as soon as they sense some danger, their spider senses start tingling, which means the quills on their backside go up. This dense area is called the rosette, and it absolutely stinks. Nothing says back off more than a pungent smell that could make anyone throw up. But apparently, it's not enough and that's when the porcupine uses her tail to hit anyone that's uncomfortably close. If you're wondering about what point we get to talk about our needle buddy shooting out quills like James Bond in a room full of terrorists, that's never going to happen, because this is a myth. So, how do predators and even humans get on the receiving end of the prickle pig? The only way the quills get released is if it gets pushed in first by the right amount of pressure, and they are sharper than a hypodermic needle. 
But when you look closer at these quills, there's something even more fascinating. The tip of these spines is covered in extremely tiny backward-facing barbs. So, they become more difficult to remove because the barbs would immediately fan out and keep it wedged in. Imagine what this would feel like in an unlucky spot like the stomach or mouth. Interestingly, a quill stuck in a predator won't usually lead to an infection. Instead, it produces natural grease, which acts like an antibiotic and stops any dangerous bacteria from growing on the surface. Doctors have begun to look into the chances of using this in surgical staples, making wound healing much less painful. We could all do with that. Meanwhile, porcupines can be klutzy and impale themselves as they sometimes accidentally trip on branches and fall out of a tree. So, not a perfect design feature after all. While most animals know not to mess with lady pricks a lot, occasionally a big cat gets hungry enough to risk it all. And that's where this leopard comes in. Leopards are famous for being the ferocious animals with which no one wants to have a showdown. Plus, they have a massively varied diet, which means they will dig into anything that feels enough like food for them. So, occasionally, porcupines look really delicious, and they try to make them into a lovely snack. This leopard is one of many that tried his luck with a porcupine meal. The porcupine attempted to fight off their attack by taking a defensive rear end position. With this, she was able to make sure that the quills were right in the face of the leopard, who kept trying to hang on. The warning quills stuck on the leopard's body were not enough to get him to walk off with his wounds, and yes, they are as painful as they look. Despite having several life-threatening quills scattered around, this leopard fought through the pain and managed to bag a good meal. But was it really a good meal though? It may have been a successful hunt, but the leopard ended up dead. The culprit? A solitary quill that found its way into the heart of the leopard. And that's minus the other damages to its wrists, mouth, and stomach. So, would a group of lions fare any better? Apparently not. This group of lionesses tried hard to take down the mighty porcupine, but it just wasn't meant to be. Eventually, they got bored and moved on. Unfortunately, not all animals are as wise as these lionesses, leading to an epic showdown. So, what's the biggest lesson here? There's always a painful price to pay when you get tangled in a porcupine's needle, no matter who wins the fight. Guys, that's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed the video. Before going, leave a comment below and tell us your precious thought regarding this video. Don't forget to hit thumbs up and share this amazing video with your friends and family. See you in our following enticing videos. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.